Bob Mueller and Channel 2 News on your side. The murder of a doctor triggers a new debate. I think that if you live by the sword, you're going to die by the sword. It is terrorism. My folks are terrorized. The man was shot in the back. I need a new bulletproof vest. That's the first thing that went through my mind. If you ch kill your child today... Tonight, in the fight against abortion, are doctors fair game? This is ABC News Nightline. Substituting for Ted Koppel and reporting from Washington, Chris Wallace. The battle over abortion has long been the closest thing to a holy war in American politics. But for anyone who hasn't been paying attention, the murder of Pensacola abortion doctor David Gunn put a spotlight on just how bloody the battle has become. Having failed to stop abortion in the courts or at the ballot box, some elements in the right to life movement have taken their fight to the streets. And their favorite target right now are the doctors who perform abortions. Some groups have issued wanted posters for these doctors, giving their home addresses and license plates. The number of violent attacks against abortion clinics has soared. The idea, supposedly, is to try to scare doctors out of the abortion business. But as ABC's Mark Potter reports, in Pensacola, it went far beyond that. At one of the Pensacola clinics where Dr. David Gunn performed abortions, Workers today prepared for his funeral. At the clinic where he was shot to death during an anti-abortion rally, police continued their murder investigation. And at the women's shelter run by the man who organized that rally, workers defended his decision to help raise money for the family of Michael Griffin, the suspected killer. We felt like that Dr. Gunn's family would, and his friends, would set up their own fund for his family. The shelter called Our Father's House is run by John Burt, an ex-Klansman turned minister who was Pensacola's most vocal and controversial anti-abortion organizer. We go in and we block the entrances and exits at a clinic. 